the grand finals of today's matchup. And it is Silence Up versus Inns. So both of these guys have already qualified for the final week of challengers. But winning this will give you a better seed, which can be extremely helpful when it comes down to these all important matches. Yep, Silence Up Keel, one of his most well known champions. He knows the man inside and out. Very familiar with the, the pineapples. And Inns is playing the visor. And is slow walking right underneath Silence Up. Silence Up has no clue. Oh, Mega's taken. Silence Up's like, what? He had no idea that his opponent was there. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Windows. This is not like a very common kill math. He thrives in the small, crowded, and tight hallways and whatever rooms where he can do a lot of damage with the grenades. But uh, Molten Falls is a very open map. A lot of like these long lines of sight. And they don't tend to favor big targets like Keel very well. And they also just don't work for his ability because he can't launch nades that far. Oh, almost at the angle, actually. Hey, Scale. How are you, man? Yeah, if you're just tuning in, Silence Up's rail is something to pay close attention to. He hit 65% railgun on the previous match that he played. And not just like, oh, he shot 10 rails and he hit 7 of them. Nah, nah, nah. Like, he shot... 60 rails and he hit more of them than he didn't. He had like 2.5k railgun damage. And that was with still 3 minutes left on the clock. So, but this should definitely be going to ends. Risky rocket jump, but unfortunately for him, Silence have just unable to put the final nail in the coffin and finish it off. Despite having control for quite some time. Oh, there we go. Good play from Silence Up. Doesn't sound like I've jinxed it just yet, Leko. Oh, rails missing, but not from ends. There we go. Look at that little flick. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Ins better positioning, better stack, heads the piercing sight and just tries to chase Silence Up down, coming up the bounce pad. And Silence Up is just like, nah son, nah, that, that, that ain't how this is gonna go. Boop. And you're done. Look at the escape from Silence Up though. I was gonna say, that's a very tricky situation to be in, but he makes it work. Nice little rails being thrown around. Signs up it does have that one frag advantage, but oh no, the rocket says click. And he can't get out without incurring even more damage to his keel. This should be in firmly placing himself in control. Because he's got the mega to his name. Silence up doesn't even have any armor whatsoever. Finally will pick up this 50. He's gonna need a lot more to contest. The stack that Inns has got going for him right now, especially since there's no way the Dutchman can actually contend for heavy. There we go, Inns monster stack. Simon Sap sticking around this area, waiting for this small armor to appear. Surely that is his plan. Sticking around, there comes Inns. He knows he can't stick around too long though. Will win miss.
Enigma, I will show it on, on stream afterwards if I can. What I'm talking about, but I don't think it's the one that you're talking about. Oh, very aggressive play from Inns. A silence up. Running for his life. Yeah. You were just you were just clenching, you know, you felt that one coming. Heavy, just a few seconds away, still silence up, railable, but he misses the shot! Man, silence up, threading the needle, that should have been a frag for Inns like a million times over. But he misses the rail, eats the pineapple, silence up, hits the rail, and gets away with the frag and the heavy. It is actually censored, it is. That's what I was gonna say at the end. Maybe that makes it easier to find, Enigma. They just repurposed the previous Quake Open League into the Pro League Discord. So. It was questionable, Windows, but I can still kind of understand it because you don't expect to miss a rail on a keel that's essentially just sitting on the heavy waiting for it to spawn. I can see where Inz was coming from because 9 times out of 10 you hit that shot, you get the kill and you get everything, but... Instead of 1 time out of 10 that of course you gotta be worried about. Look at the plasma! That's a lot of good damage. Inz down to 50 points of health, he does have the frag lead. But silence him. Is the one to take heavy, is the one to make a move on Maggie. Nice little bit of damage. That's what Inz has to keep doing. There's still three minutes left, so it's a little bit early to go full defensively, but if he can keep hitting those shots and just look for the small armors, he should be in a pretty decent position still. Fortunately for him, he did have to use his Ghost Talk. Actually, he didn't have to, but he used the moment he saw Silence Steps, so a little bit of a wasted ability. But still, this isn't over yet. Did I say Ghost Walk again? Oh. Fuck my life, dude. It's the lag of food, man. It's getting to me. Faison, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Look at that stack on Silence App. God damn. <coughs> Two minutes. Nice. Yep, that's what Silence App has to be doing. Those shots, that's how he gets back into it. Oh, it's just not ready for it. Lands a midi. But it will be Silence Up. Like, of course, Silence Up could take another midi and a half. Stopwatch. So he will just brave the rockets going up the bounce path. LG, he probably was a little bit more afraid of, but. Nice. If he had if he had, had landed that final shot, that probably would have been the end. He'll come back, can he? Oh, we're actually pretty close to 200 viewers. That'll be pretty sick if we could end up on that. One minute warning. One minute warning. Game is still a tie. 4 to 4 and at this point. Like, if Inns gets the kill, Silence Up is really slow. And he's got the ghost, or not the ghost walk, the piercing sight, so he can very easily just stay away from his opponent. But if Silence Up gets the kill, he's super defensive, and he can just put himself at a closer area and just hold it down if Inns tries to chase. So whoever gets the next track is in a really good position to hold down these final like 30 seconds with. If we get to 200 viewers, will you take my shirt off? Small horse, I've been told that it's, it's, it's banned, no? Shirtless streams. Oh, this. The final big engagement ultimately doesn't end up going anywhere. Both players bruised and battered.
Can you actually Sorry. find that angle? Nah, yeah. He can't. And it is sudden death. That's what we're looking at. Oh, one more bullet will do it. It doesn't even have to be a rail. Come on. There we go. Yeah, Inns knew he was done for. What a close game, though. God damn. That was pretty cool. Dewey, my man. Man, I gotta say, Michael, I'm happy to see you back in the Pro League, dude. It's where you belong, dude. You belong there. Hopefully, I get to go to some lands as well. Meet up with you again. Would be good times. Also, thank you for increasing my baseball knowledge like a million fold. Because I constantly see baseball stuff on Twitter because of you. <laughs> I've never watched a game of baseball in my life. I only know the Red Sox and Joe DiMaggio. And that's it. That's like, that's the extent of my baseball knowledge. So, thank you for expanding that slightly. Um, actually, yeah, Sirens have won first one. So, time to update the score. This could be the final game of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be it. Let's see. Can Inns bring it back and force out the deciding map? Or is it just gonna go 2 to 0 in favor of Simon Sepp? That's when the stick learning about baseball. Yeah, you gotta start with the basics, man. I know a lot about American football, though. You can ask Ginger about that. Here we go. Death Knight. Silence are playing Death Knights. Okay. Not a champion you very often see on this map. Especially not in a best of three. But still. I can see it work. A lot of burst damage. Someone like Nyx. Nyx does have the ghost hook to get out of the flames though. I think Silent Step was hoping to take a little bit of damage right there, so he could deny the small armor as well. Yeah, he's not bad, do we? Absolutely. He's just not a champion you see very often on this map. Usually you see him on like Bale or Awoken. When he gets picked. If, rather, he gets picked. It's interesting. Nice little bit of... Rocket damage coming out. Can Silence have read his opponent? Means he's gonna duck out of the room. Nice little rail. Silence have no more armor to his name. Oh, that's gonna hurt. 90 points of health still railable. And fortunately for him, in no position to chase. That's a good point, too, do we? Lots of missed rails. Oh, there we go. In still has the ghost talk, but of course he wants to hang on to that one as long as he possibly can. Because Nyx is just one of those champions that's very dependable on her ability. Pretty sure it's dependent, not dependable actually. God damn it's the lack of food is getting to me, guys. My English skills are eroding. That was an excellent late rail from Simon Sep. Next center piercing walk, yeah. 
slow but steady. That's how you can describe the blood run so far. I think that's how you can describe probably a majority of matches on blood run. Neither player really interested in committing to any fight just yet. They want to know they've got a clear advantage for doing so. And of course, that's not that easy. Inz has got the panic button, the ghost walk and silence up. He sticks to the small areas, the tight corners. He's got that burst damage. There we go. That's a lot of good damage. Inz has to use the ghost walk. Can he read it? She's behind you. Oh, he misses the shot. And now it's actually Silasov who's got to run for it. Are you going to peek here? Oh, you shouldn't have. Yeah. And at that point, he's essentially forced to keep pushing forward because he can't move back or stay. Because the tribolt will murder him. Probably true, it's not certain. There we go, and just denying even the small armors. Silence up in trouble. He's gonna land in the flames, won't ultimately do anything. Quickly heals right back up. Heavy is up. And he's still gonna make a move on it. Silence up will be the first one to come out of the teleporter, but he just got knocked right back off. Both players extremely low. Ins does have armor to his name and has the ghost rock to get on those 225s. Still though, Silence up rebuilding his stack pretty steadily. Five minutes left. He's got two more frags to find just to even things up. Make that free. Excellent direct. How would you play it differently, Dewey? Oh, there we go. That's what you want to see. The close quarter burst damage. Just coming out of those three flame strikes. There we go. There we go, Silence F. Just turned on the nitros. Going into overdrive. See, look, I even know stuff about cars. God damn. Anything I don't know. Can he keep up the pressure now though? Inns has the ghost talk available, so he's gotta force that one out first. Things are probably going to slow down again a little bit now. This ins, as we all know. Oh, Silence up looking for the sneaky hole. I believe that's gonna be patched in the uh, PTS though. Or is already patched in PTS. Slow play. Here we go. Inns taking a decent amount of damage right there. Good rockets. Make it two. Inns. What is he gonna do? Oh, he's actually gonna push this one. And he gets away with Mega. Whoppa. There we go. Fully auto rockets for a moment. Silence them. Don't care. Where does the hole lead to? It just leads to the side of the, uh, the, the bounce pad. Ain't no such thing as excessive rockets, do we? The more rockets, the more better, as the saying goes. But damn, how did Inns get away with that? Uh, and he just instantly turns everything around. Oh, Silas, I'm still just sticking around with 80 points of health available. My goodness, both of these players are making some really passive, or really passive, what am I saying? It's a really ballsy place. Okay. 
This is a good game, Leko. Uh. Whoops, that's ins. I'll take those 40, uh, 40 damage from the bubbles, the plasmas, and just force myself through. Oh, solid LG as well. Can he find the angle? He has a railgun. It's right, he didn't switch to rail there. And now sign this up. Look at that, he gets the flames on! But it won't matter in the end. It's bouncing up and down. Debagging the mega. A mod called Excessive. I never heard of that before. Mod for what game? Two? Three? Oh, and there we go. Inns getting some material for his next frag movie. No dot. Up you go. And out. Quick free mod, okay. One minute warning. Every weapon was made excessive. Gotcha. <laughs> I didn't really start playing Quake until Quake Live went standalone, guys. That's that's when I started, so I ain't as old school as most of you. LG would explode and produce nades. Oh my god. I gotta look up some footage of that after this stream. There we go. Inns just keeps on battering. And we will be getting a third and final map. The one to decide it all. The M60 Mega 2 Red Armor 1 BFG shot. <laughs> My goodness. That does sound pretty cool, guys. Gotta, gotta have to take a look at the excessive mod. It is Enigma. It's, it's, it's a feature. It's not a bug. Don't, don't call it a bug. It's a throwback. It's an Easter egg. Okay. Ins turn to hit 60% rail. Yeah, it just it keeps fluctuating in Windows. First it was all about the silence rail, and now it's all about ins. Okay, guys, I want to see some predictions. Let's let's see. Final map is gonna be Blood Covenant. Scale versus Clutch. What? Kosti! Kosti Kaki, thank you very much for the follow, man. This is an interesting matchup. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Two heavies? Two heavies on Covey? I literally don't think I've ever seen that happen in my time of casting Quake. That's pretty, pretty phenomenal. So, scale versus clutch. Let's see. All right, very good prediction censored. I'm seeing one silence up. Clutch may have an edge here. Clutch all the way. The fuck are these picks? Those champs. And it's gonna be fun, guys. That's the only thing that I know. Nice to see heavies. Yeah, it's always good to see some diversity. I mean, Clutch probably just has an edge because of the movement, I'd say, do we? Scale can't really do the same kind of jumps. Whereas Clutch can just do Bridge to rail, rail to bridge, rocket to catwalk, stuff like that very easily. Gives you a lot of weapons and mobility, whereas scale has got a lot less of that. Man, I wish I had that scale skin though, it's so sick. That's true, scale bearer does have the escape ability. No, Baldoro. This is gonna go 30 minutes into overtime and it's gonna end with one of the two just forfeiting and disconnecting. 
so there will be no deaths. Immediately, heavy aggression, Silence Up just lives barely by using the shield ability. But that's an explosive start if I ever saw one. Oh, it's actually in Simon. Oops. 100% railgun from Silence Up so far. Yeah, he knew that there just weren't any resources around for his opponents this side of the map. Ince, what are you doing? What? Ince just taking so much damage. He just don't care. He just says, I'll peek. I'll put another rocket down there. The one frag matchup. I've seen it happen. I've costed it. It actually was still a pretty interesting match to cost. It was fun. You did, Nation is my follow sound. Thank you very much for the follow, Sonker. Oh, at least it's a trait. At least it's a trait. That will favor in slightly. He also gets the heavy spawn. Silence up gets Mega. Nah, I mean, Clutch is just so wide. He's a very easy target to hit. Hey, Lure, thank you for the follow, man. Can't believe you weren't following already, but thank you. <laughs> nice little jump across from Silence Up, and he's landing another rail. Here we go. Seeing some good aggression. There we go. Good decision to cut the. Uh, the rush short as well and just go for the rail in the end. Inns, of course, far too experienced of a player to show his face there. Just clutches the side of the jump pad. <laughs> So okay, Lure, just kidding. Thank you for the follow though, appreciate it. Oh, we're at 198 viewers. Are we gonna hit 200? That'd be nice to see. Yeah, things have slowed down a fair bit since the incredibly aggressive opening that we saw. And still like neither player has really managed to, to get solid control. That's a nice rocket though. Silence up. Is he gonna get out of here? He does. High tails it out of there. Two on one viewers. Oh, thank you, Windows. Oh, 16 points of health. Silence up says nope. Nope. I ain't going down just yet. But he might now though. Ah, ends not going to pursue the fight. Can the shoddy pierce the shield? Nah, not when the rockets come flying around the corner and the opening rail. That's dangerous to do when you're up against the heavy champion with that little stack though. Because they can take two rails from the start. And meanwhile they're just blasting you with machine gun. You can easily die and it's almost dead. Like two or three more bullets would have been the end. Ouch. Silence up. His offensive cut short. Risky play for the rail. I think Inz was just expecting him to run away. So he was looking for the exit damage, but Silence Up committed. Nope. Not like that. And this is good for Silence Up because right now he knows Clutch doesn't have a shield up for quite some time. If he can find him quickly. Yep, there we go. Instantly. Um. Bit of an awkward rail miss, but there we go. 
There we go, he takes it anyways. And that's just because he knew that he just didn't have the shield up anymore and he could just pressure a lot more. Also, thank you, Rotten Randy, for the follow. Appreciate it, man. Welcome to the stream. And I know I shouldn't be talking about the viewer counts, but I still, I still am a small streamer in my mind. So seeing people tune in gets me very excited and happy. So I can't help but point it out. Mega, gonna be up in just a second. Ince getting hurt badly right now. Can he get out? Uh, silence up. Mega's still there, buddy. Best not let him get it. There we go. Ince, can he find enough resources? Doesn't look like it. No small armor surrounds. Sub D sec. Silence up. It's definitely starting to do more damage. Look at that. A thousand more damage than Int. 63% rail. 58% LG. Silence up definitely doing most of the damage right now. And he's also got pretty much full control. The only reason Int is managing to stay alive is because, of course, he's clutch. He's got a huge base stack. But he is one frag down, so just staying alive won't really help him all that much. There we go. I don't think inset exact timing on Mega, so it's probably guessing a little bit too much right there. He died around 3 seconds before spawn, so... And now he's just caught off again. Yeah, this should be another frag for Silence of... He's even gonna go for the rush! Um... Okay. If he had just pushed in with Shoddy, that would have been a pretty clean, free frag, it seems. But everything's going south. Silence up running for his life! Luckily for him, he lands two huge rockets. That's like... God damn, there was 180 damage gone just like that from Ince. Sends him right back to the drawing board. Lots of time lost. Yep. Those rockets, they just sank the comeback for Ince. And he was looking pretty good because he completely turned things around on Ince or Silence up when he shouldn't have. And when I say shouldn't have, I mean it's like it shouldn't have happened that way. It should have just been Silence up or shotgunning him in the back, getting the free frag. But no. That's a lot of nail gun damage and a rail for good measure as well. Silence up. Looking like an insurmountable foe right now. Here comes the rush. 100 damage. And there we go. A little bit more. Ince needed that frag. Yeah. I don't know, boys. Three frags in a minute is possible, definitely possible, because you can do some pretty nice spawn traps on this map, but uh, yeah, you need to be hitting a little bit more like that, and of course, when you're up against a heavy champion, they just spawn with so much base stack that you can't really do spawn frags the same way you would on a light or a medium one, so, and that's kind of what happened right there. Ince went looking for the respawn frag instantly towards heavy, but Silence Up was just like, "Bro, do you really do you realize how much stack I have?" <laughs> Ow! Ince is even gonna suicide. Drop down one more point and call the final GG of today's challenger tournament. GG's indeed, guys. This was fun. Silence up. Congratulations, Kyle. He will be 
placing himself, or both of these players, by the way. For those of you who are just tuning in and might not know yet, there's been some changes to how challenges work. So it's not with points per week, but it's essentially the top two players each week. They qualify for like a final week where all of the ones that manage to get top two go up against each other in an elimination match. And the top two of that little small tournament, they are the ones who get to go to the next LAN. So, um... Those two, both of these players, Silence Up and Ins, have officially qualified for that final week. But because Silence Up won, he will be getting the better seat. Please pray 